All right, I went to the uh, hardware store and got uh, a, a quarter inch uh, copper or brass tube. They don't carry the copper tubing anymore like they used to years ago. I guess it's too expensive, I don't know. Anyway, I'm using a pipe cutter to cut it so I don't have a compressed end on it. There we go. These are, you can get a pipe cutter from any uh, hardware store. What you do is just open it up, put your tube in there, then close it up, and then just turn it around the tube and tighten it up as you do it, and it'll eventually cut a perfect hole. I mean, a perfect cut so that uh, you're not depressing the end of it. But I don't know why I went to that extent, because quite honestly, I'm going to be depressing it anyway. <laughs> Time to play with some clay. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So. Please uh, consider that, and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. Years ago, I bought this little anvil. It's, it's the handiest thing to have. I don't know if you can still get these, but anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this brass tubing. I don't probably need that. By the way, my son saw me using this hammer and he said, I remember playing with that when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to work at a uh, printing shop back in the 70s and the early 80s. And uh, we uh, were doing lead type setting at the beginning of my, uh, when I started working there in 1971, they were still setting type, lead type, uh, back in the early 70s. And uh, this was a hammer they used. I don't know exactly what they use it for. I think it was to, I don't know what they used it for, but it was part of the lead type setting department. And when they closed that department, I was able to grab this, and and it's been a handy little ball peen hammer ever since. I've got to uh, support this horse, and I've got to do it uh, by taking out this center one I've got here, which is interfering with the head of the of the uh, steer. And I'm going to put the. Uh, um, support in a hole about there and that's going to be covered up by the the uh, tail so I'm just uh, 
gotta mark where that is, and I gotta find my magic marker. And the reason I bent that is so that I can heat the end of this uh, pipe and melt it into the body of the horse, and that will support uh, the horse without it having uh, slip around. I, I don't know what, how to explain it. I, I'm a sculptor, not a wordsmith, and I'm certainly not a wordsmith. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this as close to the angle I need to get it. Okay, get my can there. I can't believe this has taken three days to do, but some armatures take longer to do than others because you gotta really plan them out. Maybe running into the uh, armature. Now I'm not sure this is going to even work because when I take that out, I don't know how that's going to react. I got a bigger ball team peen hammer. Let's try this one. Okay. Time to cut the cord. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not gonna to hold it all. So I'm gonna have to uh Make another armature. Hmm. I kind of had a gut feeling about that. Okay, I'm going to put this right there to hold it upright until I can figure out how I'm going to do this next armature. I could put it right there. It wouldn't interfere with any of the straps or the latigos or the saddle or anything else. I could bend it so that it goes into the clay there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I got to mark that. I'm going to mark it right there. So I need to have it come in right about there. And so I've got to bend it in that direction. Well, I cut it at an angle so it goes in kind of sharp wise. The reason I'm 
There we go. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Now it holds it. And it's not going to interfere with the, any of the uh, cowboy tack. I'm still going to keep that there because I want to. I don't want it leaning backwards either. Okay. Uh, I need a couple screws. Well, I need to glue that, first of all. I think what I'm going to do is screw it down. I'm going to get a small piece of wood to... Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll glue it up here. I don't want to glue it down here because when I want to take this whole thing off, I want to be able to lift it off without having to pry it loose. So, I need a couple screws. that piece of wood to glue the uh, I don't know actually I'll use this piece of wood yeah that's not going anywhere so I've got that solved at least next time you look at a complicated sculpture Think about what, in, what went into the uh, the creation of it, of just the support that was needed to create it. Hmm. That's not quite... there because it's got a lip to it now naturally the uh, the lid on the uh, glue doesn't work after a while all right there we go All right, I'm going to have to leave that that way for at least a couple hours, so I'm going to have to call it quits for the day. And uh, hopefully I didn't make any stupid mistakes. All right. Yep, that horse is not going anywhere now. It's well supported. It's not the prettiest armature in the world, but it'll work. All right, that's uh, going to have to do it for tonight. Because I spent all my time trying to figure this armature out, and I think I finally did. There's some damage to the uh, horse's shoulder here. And uh, because I had to move that leg a little bit, and I'm going to push it back. I've got uh, some tail to do there. That's been wrecked. This leg here is real close to the ground. And uh, going to have to work that out somehow. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. So we'll just take it one day at a time. I like the uh, design right now. It'll look better once we get clay on the uh, steer. And uh, But that's it for today. 
Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.